Hello, 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 my friends. It's Patrick here. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Ha 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 ha. Gotta fix my hair, my hair, my hair. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Hello friends, Patrick here. Welcome to Techman Pat, uh, the channel you might have clicked on just to watch this video. But if you like what you see in this video, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, give us a subscribe if you want to see more content like this and check back uh, all the other great videos uh, we've done in the past. Today, we are looking at this, the Travolo S electrostatic Bluetooth speaker. This apparently is the smallest electrostatic Bluetooth speaker in the world. I mean, I'm sure that's going to get broken uh, in, in a few weeks or months. Uh, but this has been around for a few months. It's it's not practically like straight off the manufacturing line. But it is actually a very interesting product. So this is a product by BenQ. Uh, they reached out to me and said, would I like to review this uh, speaker? And I, and I just said, yes, of course, I've never uh, used an electrostatic speaker. And one of the things that an electrostatic speaker promises is absolutely fantastic sound fidelity. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. And actually, as I speak into it, I can feel a little vibrations in there and I'll explain what these wings are also in a minute. So electrostatic speakers, these are not new. They've been around for a while. The concept of it, they're usually quite large. They're usually a lot larger and contain a lot more moving parts. So that's why it's interesting that this is in a small package. Now, the, it's a pretty big package because one of the difficult things with electrostatic speakers is creating low sound. So your bass, you know, are kind of like a booming type of music. So. Electrostatic speakers aren't necessarily the best for your dubstep or your hip hop or basically anywhere where there's a lot of low tone, low beats. Uh, basically, you know, Dr. Dre would not be using this. So what is it good for? Well, these electrostatic speakers have an extremely fine fidelity of sound between the medium to high. These are what you would call just fantastic tweeters, tweeters and fantastic mid-range speakers. Their sound that comes out of these, and look how thin it is. That's, first of all, that's quite incredible. But the sound that comes out of this for songs that contain a lot of uh, voice, a lot of soul, basically jazz or uh, very soulful female singers, and, I'll, and, and I guess you can understand why male singers might have a hard time coming through this. So anything that's even orchestra or very high noises with a lot of movement from you know low to high to high that's the sort of music that sounds really really good on this in simple terms the electrostatic speakers they have an advantage for levels of distortion they're about one to two orders of magnitude lower than a conventional cone driver in a box the extremely lightweight and the diaphragm which is a driver across the whole surface of that wing you see here is actually the sound coming through However, this isn't light because it also has those subwoofers in there which make it a little bit heavy in the battery and so on. This is an exemplary frequency response both in amplitude and phase because the principle of generating force and pressure is almost free from resonance, unlike the more common electrodynamic speaker or what we know the cone driver. Voice, piano, female vocals sound amazing. Classical music has its moments, but again, as soon as there is a lower bass response, it kind of goes a little bit astray. And I have to admit, there's a couple of tests I had to do to actually find out that sweet spot and I'll get to the bit where I recommend who this is for because I guess you can kind of start hearing that this is not necessarily for those guys who like, I don't know, drum and bass for example, right? So I had been provided some copyright music that I'm not gonna be able to play on YouTube because copyright and YouTube friendly um, that played really well on this. Now that was because it was very high definition audio, extremely high, also hand-picked. Uh, obviously, a lot of female singers, a lot of instruments in the background that do not generate 
bass sounds. Uh, it does have two bass drivers here, by the way. That, that's why it's big here, because the bass drivers are here. So it does compensate, but I really just want to talk about the electrostatic speakers just for now. When I put that music on, I was absolutely blown away about the quality. It was absolutely impressive. And I said, if, if this requires that kind of sound, what does a generic Bluetooth connection to your streaming service sound like? And that's why I hit the first road bump. It doesn't sound very good when you stream from your Google or Spotify services. It's not that great. And it's not the speaker because when you run great music through it, not great in the sense of liking it, but high quality, it works really, really well, especially the type of music where there's a, a woman singing or a lot of orchestral instruments. However, obviously, when you put a male singer on, that male has a much more booming, lower sound and doesn't come through as perfectly as a woman singer. And so it's a bit weird, isn't it? So I thought, well, let me get away from what was provided from the uh, reviewer's manual and move on to my own music. Uh, I have a few high definition CDs that I had for a while, so I burned them, put them on my computer because the cool thing about this is you can connect it with a micro USB into your computer or a 3.5 millimeter jack uh, into an audio device. I would highly recommend that USB one if you're running from a computer. Bluetooth also works well and I'll, I'll let you know about the comparison there of that in a second. So I put some music on my computer and I put some of that music on my phone and I ran it both through a Bluetooth and I ran it from the computer. This music was rock, it was high definition, the songs were disturbed. Uh, are, <laughs> by the way, Sound of Silence but Disturbed sounds so good on this. And I know there's a lot of booming at the end, but that slow build up just is absolutely impressive. So these drivers here do bring in the bass and they do help the speaker out a lot. Uh, again, not drum and bass, but voice type music. This has an 18 hour battery life. Yes, you can unplug it and off you go. Obviously a Bluetooth speaker, it's wireless. Um, so the Bluetooth sound of things sound really good if you're playing high definition music. So again, you're gonna have large file sizes. It's probably not gonna be streamed, but it sounds really, really good when you do play it through. And I was at the point where I put the song on and I flapped open those beautiful wings and I just sat there for a bit and listened to that music because it was absolutely wonderful. And coming to those wings, the design is it's pretty unique. Looking at it straight away, you kind of think it's just a normal speaker. When you fold it away, it's it's a pretty compact little thing. And you can only play music when it's unfolded, by the way. So you can't just have it folded and play music. And of course, the design is fully metal, which is absolutely impressive. There's a plastic top here, so you can use your phone as an NFC connection. You don't even have to do, uh, click on the actual Bluetooth and connect. You just tap on top. Works really, really well. And you've got a really solid rubbery base on there. Very thick, hard rubber on the bottom. And these things are really tough because they have to be. Electrostatic speakers are a micron thin. If you damage that film that's inside, that's being controlled, you're stuffed. So this has got to have a lot of protection and it does and that's the other step this is a wireless portable speaker it is extremely heavy i did an unboxing of it and that's the first thing i realized so this is heavy so it's hard to just take around the place so you know when you when you take something like a wonder boom that thing is created to be taken outside taken into the rough terrain of Australia or Northern America, what, wherever it is, right? It's really, really good for that. This, however, I do not recommend taking this with you on travels. This isn't one of those things. This is portable that you can take it from one room to another. That's really all it is. The design itself is nice enough to actually have on a coffee table, to have on the side of your bed, and it actually fits in really, really well. It's got a couple of extra buttons up top. There's mode, sound, Bluetooth, on and off, play and stop, so you can control a bit of your music through here anyway. So the main disadvantage, as you may have realized, is the fact that we have to supplement these electrostatic speakers, these wings, with normal cone drivers. So it is a bit of a hybrid technology, and it's not necessarily a bad thing because you are getting a high to medium frequency response at a very high quality with very little distortion at those high peaks. And that's why those sounds, female singers sound really, really good on this. But, but my friends, I'm gonna tell you who this is for and what I've realized this is for. This speaker sounds really, really, really good when it's on low volume. Like, when you put it up high, it's still good, but when it's on low, it has the most cleanest and still very light sound. It is just phenomenal when this is on low. So, who puts speakers on low? Well, when you've got guests over 
for a bit of coffee and you want to play some nice background music, this is perfect. When you have a party, not so much. When you are meditating and you want some meditation sounds in the background and you have FLAC type uh, formatted files. So this, this is the other thing, FLAC or nothing. Do not play MP3s on this, there's really no point. When you have FLAC formatted music and it's meditation music, you put it on this and you're gonna be absolutely mind blowing about how clear, how nice and how fluid the sound comes out of this. It's absolutely incredible. And this is what I see this for. This is gonna sit in your office or on your coffee table and you might wanna read a book and you wanna put on some relaxing tones, some relaxing music that isn't necessarily party music. This is where the Travolo S shines. This is where you're gonna get your money's worth and don't get me wrong, it's not cheap. I'll put a link below to the Amazon uh, ones there so you can check it out and see for yourself. But this is a device you buy for your office, for your coffee table to relax, to read a book, to have a glass of wine, to meditate because the sound that comes out of this, as long as it's flat formatted, is amazing. This isn't something a audiophile is going to pick up, put, play some of his classic records on and go, oh this, is, oh, this is fantastic. No, this is for a very specific niche. And these electrostatic speakers shine in that regard. Friends, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for BenQ for sponsoring this video. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, funnily enough, I, I spend a lot of time drawing and painting and that's where I had this in use. I put a bit of meditation music, basically something light in the background, and I draw or paint or whatever artsy fartsy sh stuff you might do. Um, absolutely loved it. It was clean sound, it was non-disturbing, it wasn't annoying, and it was just a great experience all around, and really just brought in a more artistic vibe. I'm not saying it made my art any better, but it did definitely relaxed me, potentially after stressful work, work week. In any case, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thanks to BenQ, fantastic company. Until the speaker, I actually never knew they did stuff like this. I usually just had their monitors, and I've got a couple here already. Um, but it's really interesting to see this kind of technology coming out of a company like BenQ. Friends, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in another video. Like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Do you have one already? Have you, What kind of experience have you had? And hopefully I hear from you in the comments below. I do reply to all comments, seriously. Um, so feel free to chat and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching, bye.